Sports. It's in the game. Are you ready? Let's get it on! All right, this is what we've been waiting for. Alongside the legend Frank Shamrock, I'm Mauro Ranello. This is Into the main the event. Must make Our tale of the tape reveals some details about these fighters. And away we go. The main event is officially underway. Sap attacks early with the takedown. He's successful with it. Sap has experience with different styles, but which one stands out for you the most? He's one of the most brutal fighters in MMA. More often than not, he just stands and bangs until someone collapses. Emelianenko now moves into the over-under clinch. This is close encounters of the mixed martial arts kind along the ropes. Move away from his power hand! Don't go straight back! Sack shoots in, scores the double, takes this one to the ground. Emelianenko lands a beautiful-looking body shot. Oh, he drops him right down to the canvas. Great wrestling. Classic takedown. Nicely done as he lands that beautiful looking jab to the head. Yeah, keep them coming! Sack secures the shoot, gets the double leg takedown. He's working from the guard and he stacks him up. That's a great position to be in if you're the top guy. If you're the bottom guy, you gotta break him down and get ready to move your head. He's working, and the double leg takedown drops him to the canvas. Emelianenko reaches out and is able to secure the clinch. Sap gives himself from breathing room as he back. He changes levels and gets the takedown. He doesn't block the hook. Sap has yet to go for a submission attempt. It seems to me he's not comfortable in that regard. Well, if he's not going to go for the submission, he better get that knockout. Because it doesn't matter how good he's doing, he does not want this fight in front of the judgment. has been taking his opponent to take down City. He has really dominated in that department. Emelianenko delivers a nice punch. He drops a level for the takedown.
sack. Adds another takedown to his round total. Sack has the majority of the takedowns in this fight. He's dominated that aspect of this encounter. Great job on checking that kick. He's taking all of us on another trip to Takedown City. Moro, he is controlling this fight with the takedowns. He's taking it anywhere he wants it. He hits him with that punch to the head. Emelianenko scores with a shot to the head. He's working from the guard and he stacks him up. That's a great position to be in if you're the top guy. If you're the bottom guy, you got to break him down or get ready to move your head. Take him away from his power hand. Oh, he lands a nice looking cross. They're not leaving much space here as we are being treated to some clinch work. Emelianenko gives himself from breathing room as he backs away from the clinch. Sack drops a level for the take check. He passes the guard and moves into side control. Take him away from his power hands. They're at close quarters now, and we are seeing some clinch work here. No longer clinched, they've separated from one another. Sap secures the shoot, gets the double leg takedown. Great job on slipping that strike. Mamma mia, what a punch! He throws that overhand like he's throwing a baseball. Drops a level for the takedown. Emelianenko scores his first kick of the fight. He scores with that punch to the head. Sack shoots in, scores the double, takes this one to the ground. Ooh, great job in slipping that strike. That's why trainers are always emphasizing movement. You can avoid a lot of damage that way. Oh, and he drops him to the ground with a double leg tension. Puts him down on the canvas with a double leg. Oh, he drops him right down to the canvas with a double leg. Emelianenko makes a move going to his right. Sack drops him to the canvas via double leg. He drops a level, shoots in, and records the double leg takedown. He dumps him on the floor with a double leg. Just avoided that punch. Very quick on his feet. Sack shoots in, scores the double, takes this one to the ground. There's the shoot. The double leg secure. He's on the ground.
Emelianenko has really done a number with his punches tonight. Sack puts him down on the canvas with a double leg takedown. There's a nice looking punch right to the head. He shoots in and secures a double leg takedown. He's able to transition into side control. Oh, and he's taken down to the canvas with a double leg takedown. Dumps him on the floor with a double leg takedown. Ah, oh, he drops him to the ground with a double leg takedown. He scores with a double leg takedown. Ooh, great job in slipping that strike. Sack drops a level for the takedown. Let's take a look now at some of the action from the previous stanza. We're going into the final run. Don't let the judges decide it for you. And especially, don't let him. It's been close, and now it's the final round. All I can ask is that you give it all you've got. You've got to find it in you. Go for it. Fight! This one could be headed to the judges. The final round is underway. Secures the shoot, gets the double leg takedown. Scores with a double leg takedown. Great job, drops a level, secures the double leg, picks him up, and puts him down. Great job on slipping that strike. Now you gotta move that head, and you gotta move those shoulders. Slip and move, bob and weave, keep active the whole time. Sack secures the shoot, gets the double leg takedown. He's obtained full mount. Nails him with a solid left hand to the head. Oh, he's in trouble here. He is in deep trouble. Yup, he's given up his back. This could be it. And the double leg takedown drops him to the canvas. Sap drops him to the canvas with a single leg takedown. Oh, he dumps him with a double leg takedown. He hits him with that punch to the head. Jeez, that's nice! Sack drops a level for the takedown. He 
dumps him with a double leg takedown. Break that! Break! Who does a nice job of slipping that punch. That's it! Just like that! He changes levels and gets the takedown. Here we see him stacked up in the guard now. He's working from the close guard, and Frankie's stacking him up right now. Oh, he's stacking him up, and he's putting himself in the ultimate power. Down goes his opponent here in the final round. Is this going to be it? Yeah. Now, we don't need the treble after all. All she he needed was a wrap as he stops the fight via TKO here in the final round. Here we go with a collection of replays. 